Well, and now that finishes it. Damn it, why me? I can't get caught. Not like this. We've got to find someone to pin this on. Oh my god, is this, is this like Adam? Someone like him. This is like anime LA Noir. What's this r dot in the middle of his floor? Is that like the detonator to make him explode? So I'm guessing I'm a lawyer. Boy, am I nervous. Right? God damn! Okay! Okay! Well, I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you. And your client as well. Um, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean, you need the defendant before the case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. Damn, when do I smash? I want to help him out in any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. <laughs> it's over? My life, everything is... What? Is that your client screaming over there? <laughs> Why is she so calm all of a sudden? His name's Butts. Oh my god. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell him I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. Okay. Hey, Daniel, what's up? The person responsible for your girlfriend's death? The newspapers say it was you. My name... By the way, when are you going to do God of War? I started playing a God of War game. Or do you... Do you want me to do the new ones? Is that, is that what you really want? Because I was just going to play them all in order. Are you, are you? What the fuck is going on? Dr. Eggman? Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. <laughs> His name is Larry Butts. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Damn! I look smashing. Fuck yeah. Now tell me, what was the cause of death? She died because she was... Oh, the loss of blood due to a blunt trauma. One object, Your Honor! Fucking, I gotta be a lawyer! Hell yeah! Especially since I've been watching Suits. This is sick. You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Mr. Wright. Good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed. Oh my god. Well then, first, a question for your for the prosecution, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Wright just told us the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? The thinker. He was found lying on the floor next to the victim. Statue in the shape of the thinker is rather heavy. Right, be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in the court. You say, oh, okay. Okay. I've watched suits. I know what I'm doing. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Butts, to the stand. Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. 
We get the chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Okay. Yeah, I, I know what cross-examination is. Fucking... Oh my, did you see the little... Fucking mouth like that? Is it not true that the victim had already had recently dumped you? We agree together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra, and Mark Anthony. Um, didn't they all die? I wasn't dumped, she just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me, ever. Was it to you anyway? So, boss, what describes generally what we mean by dumped? In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean, one of them? Lies, all of it lies. You honor the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. The victim apparently arrived home from Paris on 7th, the, 7th, the 30th of the 7th, the day before the murder. Indeed, she appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude, no way. The victim was a model, but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. Can I be one of them? Daddy's sugar? Yes, older men who give her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. The clues what kind of woman this is, Miss Turner. Tell me, Mr. Butts. What do you think of her now? I don't think you want him to answer that question. They have the way of running his mouth and all the wrong. Stop him from answering. My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to this case. Nick, what do you mean, irrelevant? Cheat and she dog. Oh my god, stop talking! Did you or did you not? Well, maybe I did and maybe I didn't. Does this guy not know what a fucking trial means? He he has to tell the truth. And he has to give straightforward answers. No, I gotta answer honestly, it's fucking Yeah, yeah, I was there. I went. Hold up. Oh, Mr. Butts, dude, chill. She wasn't home, man, so look, I didn't see her. Your Honor, the defendant is lying. Lying? The prosecutor would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? I only found the victim's body just before making the gruesome discovery. It's the dude who killed her, though. The prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. It's bad. Family news with him. He can kill him. Mr. Frank Sowit. Yeah, that's the fucking dude who killed her. Okay. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw men fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half opened behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman not moving, dead. I quality in front and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1pm. The man who ran was without a doubt the defendant sitting right over there. Yeah, this guy's fucked. Hmm. 
Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Y yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that this is how it used was one of those. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your electricity of Mr. Stoney's building was out from noon to six. Wait. Wait, let me use my brain. Noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. Oh, f and the dude went there at 1 p.m. So, he, yeah, it could. So, yeah, yeah, he's fucked. He's fucked. Now, Mr. Wright. Yes. Your Honor, you may begin your cross examination. Alright, right, this is it. The real deal. Get in my law and get in my suit. Oh, I should wear like a fucking tie or something. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why, you exposed the lies and the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? What? He was lying? The client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is the client really guilty? How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness testimony to him. Okay, okay, I can do that. Turn the court record. Okay. Press it and rub it in the witness's face. Okay. Open the court record. Okay. Cindy's autopsy. Time of death? The 31st of the 7th? 4pm to 5pm. Call of death? Okay. Electricity at noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. Apparently, five time of death the day before the murder. Okay, it has to be has it has to do something with a blackout record. The black it has to have it has to be something with this and this. Okay. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it's, it's strange, I looked inside the apartment. When I saw her lying, I saw her lying there, a woman not moving, dead. I called if I put the phone immediately. However, the phone in her apartment was not working. I went nearby a park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly, it, w it was 1 p.m. Yeah, so he said that she died at 1 p.m. Time of death was 4 to 5 p.m. You found the body at 1 p.m.? You sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death at some time after 4 p.m. There was nobody to uh there was nobody to find at, there's no body to find at 1 pm. How do you explain this three hour gap? Ooh explain that, you fucking bitch! Oh that? Oh uh This is trivial, the witness merely forgot the time. You don't just after his testimony I find that hard to believe. Miss Sawit, why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 pm? Well, I, gee, that's a really good question. Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out contradictions. Lies always beget. Oh, this this game's fun. <laughs> Ooh, I can be a lawyer. See through one, and the whole series falls apart. Fuck yeah. Wait, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? It's gonna be another lie. 
You see, when I found the body, I heard the... Her, I heard the time? There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. That's why I thought it was 1pm. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Hmm, I see. You heard a voice saying that. But there was a blackout. But you may cross again. But there was a blackout. Oh, I remember, but you said there was a blackout. That's, that's just easy. I don't even... Yeah, I want to present this. Hold it right there. The prosecution had said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. Oh, I got him again! Got his ass twice! You couldn't have heard a television or video. I, well, uh, the defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this? Mr. Sawit, oh, I caught him in a fucking lie again! No, I, I find it puzzling myself quite. <laughs> what a fucking idiot! What a moron! I remember now. So it court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. That and you seem rather distraught. <laughs> my, my apologies, Your Honor. It uh, must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Sarwit. Let's hear your testimony one He's gonna lie again. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment wasn't there. Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. You saw a clock. I guess I would explain it. The defense may cross it. Yeah, you, you... Um... I didn't hear it. There was a table clock and then the Yeah, the mer- Is he- Present- Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was a statue. Now how is this supposed to be a clock? <laughs> you with your objections and your evidence. Just who do you think you are? I'm a fucking attorney, dumb bitch! Hey, I, I saw it there, okay? That's a clock. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch, you just tilt it and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as my stat uh, as a statue. My apologies. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright... It appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with this testimony now? Yes. Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. Hmm. Indeed, the witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh yeah, prove it. Prove that I went in there. I just did. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. You struck her with the clock and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That's how, that's the sound you heard. Order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Al. Fuck yeah! Yes, Your Honor. It's a solid. The sound must have left the quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. What, what, what's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. 
Will the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, I that, that, that day, I, I never... Look, I, the clock, I had no, I mean, I saw... <laughs> he's fucked. <laughs> Man was wearing a toupee. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. You're right, Your Honor. You claim the sound of the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The sound of the witness heard was definitely the clock. In fact, which is clear if you simply... Oh fuck, I don't know what you're meant to do here. Examine the clock batteries. Ask the neighbours. Try sounding the clock. Let's sound the clock now, here in this court. Your Honour, may I have the clock? I ask the court to listen very carefully. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Oh, well, he is the thinker after all. So we've heard the clock, what a... Oh, your conclusion, Mr. Rat. Mr. Payne, can you tell me what the time is it? Time it is now. 11:25. As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Slice of the discrepancy between Mr. Sowit heard and the actual time of death. Mr. Sowit, try to talk your way out of this one. Oh, I got him. I forgot one thing. Uh oh. Thanks for the follow, Hut WF5. What's he talking about now? Well, it may seem like the clock is running three hours slow. It proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. Fucking. Seems you lack the crypt. It means I cannot let you indict. Fortunately, hey, Chief, listen up, right? Don't throw this one away, not like this thing. But chief, it's over. Can't prove the clock will slow the day of the milk. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you would... Oh, wait, you can prove it! Yeah, I can think of a reason. Fucking, I actually don't know. Fucking. Ah! Excuse me? It proves you claim how? Can't see what. Fuck. Oh, yeah, the blackout. Yeah, the passport. The victim had just returned home from abroad from the day of the murder. So we will know the time difference between here and Paris is 9 hours. When it's 4pm here, it's 1am the next day there. The clock wasn't 3 hours slow, it was 9 hours fast. The victim hadn't res reset her clock since returning home. Ah! 
That's all the time you heard when you struck her in the apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Sawit, or should I say, Mr. Did it? <laughs> yeah, he did it. Did he? Did he just throw up cum? than we all expected. Mr. Payne, your witness, he, uh, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Wright, yes, Your Honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone com complete a defense so quickly. Find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but this court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts, not guilty. Fuck yeah. Do I get a prize now? Mia? I would all to you. My life is over, Larry. You were supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Oh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. Good, wait, no. <laughs> he's he's going to end himself. He's going to off himself. I'm going to send has gone, man. Gone for You don't seem that sad, though. Harry Butts, innocent. I thought his name was Larry. You made the clock for her. You're telling me he made it and he could have said something to me? Oh, because that's how you skip a lot of stuff. It's the clock you made for her, Larry. She took it with her when she traveled. Whatever, she probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Well, make it of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, she's into me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we won't be doing episode. We won't be doing episode two 